Good everyone and welcome. Uh, this is pre-council at this point. The council will not meet its regular session until 6.30. Uh, object of this meeting is just to go over some of the things on the agenda. Uh, I guess we'll start by asking uh, anything on our number one item of business tonight, which is the budget which we discussed in our work session on Monday. David, I think you had your one question resolved. I did. It was answered. And uh, if you don't mind, what we will be doing, if you would bring that up for vote, I would appreciate it. And we will be doing a roll call vote on that one because it's so important. Uh, we, the next item was the one regarding the... Uh, I have one question on that. Oh, go ahead, John. I'm sorry. David, uh, are we going to schedule another? I mean, I thought that another item. We can definitely do that. we're at, I think we cut about $700,000. We yeah. still are not where we need to be. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, no, absolutely. We need to still continue the conversation because there's, even with the budget as is, there's obviously a lot of things that right. we need to find a way to get into the budget. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. And under our second one, uh, Councilor Spivey, you pointed out we need to, uh, when we approve the agenda, modify that one? Yes, I would like to see it modified. Um, we're, we not only ask for the remit, uh, remittance of the 200,000 that we also As your campaign. asked for the um, for the deed to that building to be um, handed back over to the city so that that um, income can come back into the city's budget. We specify there, I think, that the rent payment should come to the city as well because we don't want any misunderstanding there. That's what I mean by the industry. Yeah. Yeah, the rent. And you'll just do that as part of the approval of the agenda. Well, yeah, I got over James, can you rewrite that or do we need to get Rob to Leslie, um, I can go print you all a copy of the resolution that Leslie created. It has a lot of the verbiage in it that we're all correctly she thought this was a good idea before the conversation to make sure that the group here was behind approaching that and making that request yeah i, I mean i can just speak generally to it I mean, this just came up the other night when council spot and brought it up uh, so the answer i think the short answer to your question is there hasn't been a conversation since then on this i think that just in terms of procedure if you all are intending to make that request, you have to do it in a setting like this, right. the council meeting. And then whoever you want to go and deliver that message, whether it's me or, or, or one of you, uh, and can, can present that and then the rationale behind it. Until right? so you have a request, there's really nothing to discuss. Um, but, but if you're requesting, 
I'm sure there have been a lot of people. I think what I personally, I guess, no, I may not agree with that. I think there is a lot to discuss before the rest of I just think personally, there is a lot to discuss before the rest of And I think, I just think they're, they were willing to do what we asked. I really do. But there are some things for a CDA concern that they have to take some they have to take care of also for being that organization. And if we take all the money from them, then how are they going to continue to do what they need to do as far as uh, in one of the conversations have the economic development committee had a conversation with them for bringing businesses into the neighborhood, into the community. I mean so there is a conversation that should be had. Before. And that just that's my opinion. We can, we can move on forward that. But I just I just think that there should be if it's you the council president and you you the liaison to the CA, I just think there's there, there should be a conversation. We don't always come back and put the resolution. I just think there needs to be a conversation because I think they are they will be willing to come to an agreement. But it looks like look, they like what's happening right now, you know what we're looking like? We're being politicians. And just say we're just going to do what we want to do. No, that's remember this is just a resolution to make the request. Right. We can't demand for them to do anything. And Leslie was saying, basically, the way the state law is structured, we have no power over the CDA. So we, as a group, are agreeing to make the ask. I understand that. And and again, they don't lose their funds. This is part of the funding. Long term, the idea was to go back to the form reform if we're able to work out something where they get a budget and they're funded every year for what they need to do. Prior, prior to them getting control of the building and receiving the rent, the, the council gave them uh, money to operate on uh, through, the, through the budget. And, uh, and, and they did fine up until they got that. And now, you know, it's just, in my opinion, they're not spending it wisely. So, uh, looks like you want to tell the history of how they got back over there? It wasn't this. It wasn't this CDA. The CDA. The CDA went to the owner of the building and said, "You will stop sending the check to the city, and you will start sending it to the CDA because the city was getting right. that rent." Well, well, the real problem is tonight. Let me just say this: it, just, okay. it wasn't anybody on this CDA that requested that. I'm just let me clear that up. You know, because that. Right. But, but again, remember, let's stick to what the original intent was and the advice of our legal counsel. Yes. This is only setting the stage to make the request and that we're all in unison to make the request. Right. That's that all it is. That's my suggestion. That's okay. That's my suggestion. But uh, we'll see when we come to that part of the vote. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the next item on the water department, uh, apparently when we were doing budget, that was the one area we did not address. So this is a vote to extend their budget for the new year. Uh, and we did not discuss that the other night, but I didn't know if anybody had any questions about that in particular. I'm not exactly sure what their budget looks like. That would be my question. Yeah. And, and uh, James? How long are we going to extend it? Are we going to stand for the whole year or 30 days or 20 days? The, the water department budget was included when you got the one of the earlier uh, budgets for the city, the water, uh, was a part of that. Their budget currently is $2 million. And it really didn't change a lot from 2018 to 2017 other than we reallocated some bonds that they were paying for that we're now paying through the city. So they should see a profit the next year, even if everything remained the same. Right. Did you say they wouldn't see a profit next year? They shall see a profit next year. Good. Good. Okay. That's all needed here. And basically, this is for functionary. Uh, is there some wording somebody suggesting that we need to consider when we put this on for vote? Well, of course, I guess my question is, are we going to extend it for the whole year or until we... No, I would recommend that once you re re review those extra items that the water department budget be a part of that review as, as well. So okay. at the next work session, uh, before the next council meeting, if we get an opportunity to, to review it before then, I would say that we could put it on the next uh, council agenda meeting. Okay. 
And as we're, we're discussing these uh, follow-up meetings, don't forget we did delay our economic get-together, and that will be on the next Monday before the council meeting at 5.30. Uh, the idea there is we've got to talk about economic incentives and uh, what each role will be in that process of how we're working together to achieve the same goal. So that meeting, I'm, I'm not going to reschedule it at this point, so that Monday before the next council at 5.30 will be the economic development CDA at all meeting and we'll follow it with a short session for us at 6.30 if we need it for regular council. So please mark your cal calendars on that. So the work session for Monday the 16th. 16th. Uh, and it is an economic, it's actually an economic development board at all work session. We, we're trying to get industrial, how many did we come up with? We have industrial, uh, CDA, and downtown redevelopment. So just trying to get everybody in the room together, to talk about the main topic of the economic, and uh, incentivizing, or how can we do it under the current budget situation. Okay, the next one, uh, I think we went through that one, uh, and we are basically looking at uh, going forward with a grant request to do work at, right now defined as Rutherford Park. It may be just a small part of what needs to be done overall, but definitely a grant that is worth pursuing. We discussed the other night, so that one hopefully. Uh, the retail liquor license, uh, I think as James indicated, they are now going for adding other than beer because they left it out of their original license. So they're trying to become more of a sports bar operation, and that's just an approval of the additional licensure. And I think everybody was in agreement there. And then the uh, next items that came in, uh, well, actually the dog park was another discussion, and the thing that needs to be emphasized there, uh, if we pass the resolution and notice is served for the current location, the new budget does reflect a reduction in cost of the approximate $30,000 a year that we're currently spending. And there are plans to relocate that to some existing park space in the future when we're able to. We would be using city labor and probably some of the uh, things that are already located there that could be relocated. Was there a question on that one at any time? You know, in the meantime, I mean, there's, there's a small dog park the um, new hotel. Um, Enclave? Enclave. Yeah, okay. And, and the other thing, this even if we serve notice, we will still be uh, in possession of that area until January. Right. So right. we've got 90 days probably after tonight if we pass that resolution. Yeah. Uh, the next items uh, basically cover uh, the a uh, plethora of school grants uh, going from uh, Chromebooks to uh, newsletter, uh, various items, each individual. The appropriate paperwork was attached. Uh, we didn't have a lot of discussion on those items. I uh, didn't know if there were any additional questions at this point, but uh, I, uh, there are a few I do not support, so I would not be able to vote for consensus approval of these tonight. Are there any other questions on anything on the agenda at this point? Just to clarify, these the dollar amounts coming out of these educations, those were those, that was money allocated previously from the old budget, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. And uh, basically, we did change the wording to make us able and will know in the future. I would also, if there's any other uh, individuals that sit on the council. Um, now that we know that we need to notice that, that's the only um, committee that we have that has to be public notice that we don't have at least three council members sitting on. So if anybody would like to uh, volunteer to join John London on that committee, I would appreciate volunteer. If not, I'll have to make a selection and make an appointment. But uh, we shouldn't have all our other committees with three on it, and that one with only one. Okay? Uh, so any other questions there? Any uh, comments from the audience at this point? This is still informal, but uh, didn't know if anybody had anything. All right. Well, thank you. Do I have a motion to adjourn this well, session? I just want to, I want oh, to, I, I, I welcome 
some other council to be part of this committee. I'll come. I'll come. Use an education. Use an education. I'll, 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 I'll do it. You'll do it. Sure, sure. Chair. Because uh, when they made the decision, every, I mean, and your lady's sick now. She, she, she resigned from the board. Oh, really? Because she got sick. Really? You know, everybody else was there. Okay. At the meeting, so. Well, everybody's if, appointee was there. So if I get one more, I'll. Uh, We'll just do the appointment one of the meetings after two people, so we've at least got Terry's name. You can put me on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we've got two. We can add that to the next well, meeting. No, no, we we can can like every thank you. Thank you. I'd be a bit more hesitant. That was an easy one to resolve. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate that. All right. Uh, any other questions? Okay, do I have a vote to close this session? Make a motion. A motion? Go ahead. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right. Thank you very much. We'll readjourn 6 30.